Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gigi Graziano and I film fashion, lifestyle, and beauty videos every once in a while. I'm trying to get to every week, but we will see. So for today's video, we will be reviewing the Con Air Styling Brush. Woohoo! Um, I've seen a lot of people talk about these lately and it's really come to my interest that like does it work, especially on hair like on this type of hair. So today we're going to be testing it out, I'm going to give you my honest review, and if I love it or if I hate it, but let's dive right in. Okay, I finally got it unboxed, and on the box it says 25 heat settings, okay? That's really good, I, I enjoy that. Extra long, cool tip, easily for hand, blah, blah, for easy handling on the hair, okay. But it says uh, temp control, low 1 to 8, medium 9 to 14, medium high 15 to 20, high 21 to 25. So I'm assuming for me, well not assuming because I know, um, I have wavy curly hair but also it's coarse and thick so it says 15 to 20 then 21 to 25 for the coarse and thick. So I'm just gonna go for I think just do 23 because you know that's like right in the middle and I do need a lot of heat whenever I um, do my hair so let's see. Oh perfect 23 is an option. There's a turbo on and off. I'm not too sure about that, but whatever. So this is what we got so far. Okay, now if we're looking at the brush, it lo it looks like a baby little round brush, but a curling iron, like a really, really small barrel. It's just three fourths. Um, for by the way, this was 10.88 at Walmart. 10.88. So. A bargain. So that's why I'm trying it because I really want to know if 1088 can snatch this weave up. So let's see how this works, guys. Okay, while my brush is heating up, I'm going to read to you guys <clears throat> what their like statement is. It says this hot brush features Conair's instant heat technology. It quickly heats up to the temperature you selected for your hair type. The hot brush is 25 temperature settings. By the way, look what I'm reading. Okay, the hot brush is 25 temperature setting and instant heat technology provides styling versatility and for all hair types. If you have fine hair, a low temperature will provide the best results. If you have thick, wavy, or hard to curl hair, keep the heat setting on high, aka me. So it basically it just wants me to snatch up my hair. It doesn't say what I'm supposed to get, but hmm. Okay, so to style the hair, it says, hair should be clean and completely dry before using the hot brush, perfect. Select hair evenly and comb each section before wi winding. That's the word, winding. For best results, use a light styling product before blow drying hair. Okay, one, step one, roll one small section of the hair at a time around the hot brush, starting from the bottom up. To avoid tangling, never roll hair around the hot brush more than two times. Okay, keep keep that in mind, I guess. When hair is warm, not hot, to the touch, the curl is set. For hair that is hard to curl, leave the hot brush in the place for a little bit longer. A hot brush generally gives a lighter curl than a curling iron. Okay, so we're gonna go for a nice, like, playful look. The hot two, the hot brush can be used for quick touch-ups. After heating the hot brush, simply brush the hair back to its original style. We like that. Uh, and then option number three, to achieve faster styling results, these units feature a unique optional, I don't know why I could say the word, turbo heat burst. Press the turbo button, that's what it was before, I didn't know, um, to deliver up to tw 36 degrees Fahrenheit, more heat for maximum styling performance. Two options where you can either use it to straighten or to wave. Um, I don't know, I'm going to do whatever I'm feeling right now. But to straighten, to relax natural waves, pull a small section of hair and then pass the brush over the hair from the roots to the end. Repeat procedure until natural waves are relaxed. To wave it for following, for flowing waves, separate a wider section of the hair than you normally do for curling and roll it as you usually do. For best results, hair should be at least six to eight inches long. Well, mine is 15 inches long, so. I think it's time. I'm just gonna comb out my hair with this really cool brush my mom got me. My mom's a hairdresser, so. She hooks it up, but it's a nice angled brush, so it can just comb like off the top of your head, like so. So I'm just gonna comb through this. 
because we're following directions this video. Now we have a gross puff ball that we're gonna have to make look beautiful. Let's start with the bottom section. It says to section off the hair, so I'm just gonna do like I normally do and clip it up. Okay, Con Air, come through. Let's see. Okay, the cord's already annoying me. So let's just see like, oh, woohoo. Oh, uh, honestly, why is it straight? Uh, I mind you guys, that was one time I ran through what? What was it? Twice? How's the top looking? Oh my god! I mean, it doesn't. It looks like a little puffy. I don't know why, but pretty straight. Okay, let's just try the curl, the wave. What they wanted to do. So I'm just gonna go like this. I think this is a like decent section. So we're gonna go like this, and I'm assuming it's like a curling thing. So I'm gonna do it away from my face. Let's just curl. It says not twice. Ooh, ooh, I see what they mean. Oh my god, that's kind of cute. Let me see if I can do it better though. Like, let me just do a one, and it. No, no, no. No, 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 mommy. Maybe just like one and then two, three. Maybe I could do it like a wand. Let's see how this comes out. Oh, it, stay it stays there. Oh my God. It looks so, it looks so good. <laughs> I'm shook. I am shook. So I guess it does curl and it does straight. $10. My, I have a keratin straightener and it's like almost, it's like a lot of money. It's like a hundred dollars. And to kind of get the same results for a $10 product really makes you question how much things are. It's ridiculous, honestly. Okay, so I just ran through this. This is my third time, right? We're just, for three times, it's really not bad. I mean, I don't know. I think when you use a straightener, like it gets kind of boring, you're sweating, right? And don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm warm right now. I'm always warm when I'm doing my hair, but this is just kind of fun because it's different. It's different, it's relaxing. Okay. And I like how it's like, it has body to it. When you straighten your hair, like you're straightening your hair. So it's all going to be uniform and like pin straight. Your ends are probably going to look pretty like it looks gonna look a little dead but like we kind of like that look sometimes i don't know i think that this like i can even curve that maybe and make it look like i think the okay so what i was gonna say is that it could look like a blowout look i just curve the end a little bit it has a little curve maybe i'll do it to like a big section so then i could it could be all together ready yeah like a blowout i love Oh my god, it looks so playful, so nice. Oh yeah, if you haven't noticed by now, I decided to do the straightening. So, I don't know, I'm just feeling it. And then I'll maybe I'll curl my hair another day with it. But so, ready? And then we're just going to do a little twist on the end. Love the twist. The twist makes your hair look healthy and blown out. It looks like you went to Blow Bar and got just a little nice hairdo done. So far, I'm really impressed. Now we're on to the next section. And to be completely honest with you, like, yeah, I have thick hair and sometimes it's painful, but for the most part, my hair is pretty easy to do. One. Two. I'm gonna rock through this next section.
collects a lot of hair, but I mean, it's necessarily, it's essentially combing through your hair as you're doing it, so. So far, so good. Let me know what you guys think down below of like how speedy it is. And by the way, this has been going on for like seven minutes. Looking like a monster. Now for the top, um, I'm gonna go for more of a flip, like the bottom had a little flip on the end from what I did, but I'm gonna like, I want a, like some curve to this. Some curves for your icebergs. Perfect. This, the front piece always has to be perfect, everyone. As you might know. I did a little twister on the front piece because I want to see if it comes out better. Perfect. A nice flip. I think right here is my... There we go. Wow, look at the difference from just like this top. This is a smaller section. I think the smaller sections work better because, you know, it could, it could uh, hold down the hair that's right there. But I'm lucky my hair isn't really kinky at the top, but... You could even see that it's working pretty well because next to like the straight pieces, you know what I mean? Like this is the puff right here. Maybe even go up, you know? Oh yeah, I really felt the heat on this one. That one's sleek. I have frizz, but what are you gonna do? Ooh, ooh. Okay, now. Last section. Best way to get your whatever front bangs, whatever you got, I would say grab it in a smaller section about an inch long, an inch wide, my bad, and just kind of make sure that this looks dynamite. Okay, after running through it a couple more times, I just brush through like so. Um, I'm gonna give you guys my final review. I'm gonna give you a spin first, ready? So my final review, we're going to start off with the brush. So the entire design of it is very, you know, it's ceramic, it's plastic, it's whatever. I mean, it is what it is for $10 that I paid for, $10.88 Walmart price. Um, and I think the design out of five stars, I would give it about a three. Because, I mean... It's black, it's, you can't go wrong with black, it's black and silver. Okay, now let's get on to the actual result of my hair. So as you can see, I try to do a number on it, but it is straight, except some tough pieces that I have in my hair don't really want to be straight. And I think that this product or this tool would be amazing for people who have like pretty thin or medium, thin to medium, like a mass hair. The length could be whatever, but like, the actual thickness of your hair, it needs to be pretty low if you want to do this really quick. Like for someone like me or someone with really, really kinky curly hair, it would probably take us about 20 to 30 minutes to get it absolutely perfect. And I didn't even get mine absolutely perfect, but it's doable. I mean, I think that the goal is to look like a blowout. And it has a lot of body, I'm not gonna lie. So I think that you do get a blowout result, meaning that you do have a lot of body. It's not the straightest I've ever seen. But it is a nice, like, got bounce to it, you know? And I like that. I really do like that. So, like I said, for thickness, probably thin to medium hair would be the best. And 
not really for thick hair. I have it on the highest setting. I even did the turbo one. And like, it still didn't make my, my weave all snatched, which I wanted it to be. My overall rating and review for this brush, I would give it a 3.2 stars out of five. Just because of the fact that, okay, the price point is good. The design, it's whatever, it's ceramic, it's low budget, but I mean, for $10, it is what you get. And the results, I didn't hate them at all. I think the best way that you could use this wand for people with uh, medium to really, really thick hair is if your hair is already straightened and then you wanna do a little one-two on it, if you wanna do a curl or if you just wanna resurface it. I think this would be great to pack your bag if you're on vacation or if you just are really in a pinch, even if you wanna bring it to work, do a little and fix it up. But overall, Conair, I'm impressed, but you didn't change my life. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I had really fun filming it and I love watching review videos. So if you want to see more content like this, comment down below. If you want to see more of me, subscribe to my channel and have a nice rest of the day. Ciao.